not even joking tour. Five islands, 10 states, 21 cities, 51 shows. This tour started from the Blaisdell Arena. From then, I took that material and took it on the road. It's funny because I kind of did it backwards. You know, you normally start off in clubs and smaller theaters and then work your ways up to bigger venues like an arena. But I did it backwards. I did the Blaisdell Arena first, my biggest show of my life. It was kind of challenging to do it backwards, but it was fun and it was rewarding. It also humbled me as well, you know? It made me feel like, yeah, I have all these fans here in Hawaii. I'm doing great in Hawaii, but there's so much more I can reach out to. And I was happy that I was able to do that in the mainland. It was amazing to see how much Hawaii fans and Hawaii people there are across the nation. There's some places that I never even thought of that would have Hawaii people there, like Chicago, for instance, you know? There was a few shows where there was hardly any Hawaii people. Minneapolis was one of them. It challenged me, you know? I think the first time I ever performed at a place where no one knew who I was in New York City, where I just did a guest spot at The Stand, which was this uh, comedy venue in New York. I never did that before. I never performed in front of people that didn't know me. It was good to do that and, and it worked out well, you know. I'm still adjusting, I'm still learning, my comedy is still growing and I'm starting to realize I can, I can do that, I can adapt to the crowd, I can perform to people that are not my fans. It was amazing walking into these iconic venues uh, like the Comedy Store in La Jolla, Zanies in Chicago, all the improvs and seeing, you know, my favorite comics on the wall, Sebastian Maniscalco, Gabriel Iglesias, Joe Coy, every famous comic you think of been in that room. And for me to be on that stage as well was such a surreal experience. I'm blessed to, to share the same stage as my idols. In Arizona at the Tempe Improv, I believe the second night they had like a luau theme <laughs> because I'm from Hawaii. But it was awesome because the whole staff was wearing lays and just to see them to put a whole theme just for me this was a cool, fun experience. If you guys ever been to my shows, I do kind of like a musical bit at the end. I never really had like a, 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 a true DJ, so I would use my laptop just to cue music and I would have my nephew, Keanu, and you know, he would just trigger music for me. He was there in kind of in like the first few shows in the beginning. And then I had Kama, Rachel's sister, do that as well too. She also is a photographer. And I even had Rachel to do some DJ work, you know, with the, with the computer to, to trigger music. And then I came across DJ Ryan live, and then he jumped on starting from Arizona. I didn't have to worry about setting up the computer or you know, telling them, okay, you gotta play it at this time. So it, was, it took a lot of stress off of me and made the show flow a lot better and I could see the difference immediately. My parents were a big help uh, as well. I mean, always from day one, they would come to all of my shows. Now that I've been touring, they come to the shows that they can make it to. They're definitely a big help. They take care of the merchandise. And my boy, Waki, he also started to jump on board and help out with the merch as well, or just as a runner, or just anything we need help with. Good to have these guys around me. There was a lot of uh, memorable moments during this tour um, in Kauai. You could tell that people there that came to the show, that was their first time experiencing a comedy show because they were treating it like it was a concert. And they were just standing around talking story, you know, green bottle in their hand. That's Kauai right there. Oh, there was a, a guy named Tumua as well. Brought him up on stage, showed the ID to everyone. Bro, your name is Tumua. That's, that's your name. Oh, oh, what you doing, cuz? Two more! Two more! The things... 
It says Tumor Lani. <laughs> Big Island at the Palace Theater. Some random lady walked in off the street. She just heckles me and just. My uncle. What was that? And security had to come in and kick her out. You gotta get her out of here already. She gotta go. She gotta go. In Tacoma. There was this big Samoan guy, I think he was with, with a few friends. And I just remember him just agreeing with everything I said. I remember him yelling out. He goes, bro, this is Hawaiian style. That's an example right there that I believe that was his first comedy show. In La Jolla, at the comedy store, I think it was a Samoan guy, and he just ripped his shirt off in the middle of the crowd. I think even in uh, in Las Vegas, someone took their shirt off as well, too. Yeah, that was two times that happened on, on the tour. In Chicago, there was this white girl. Throughout my whole set, every joke I told, she would always have something to say after the joke. I'm really married. <laughs> what was that, ma'am? How long were they married? She wants to know, I guess. Uh, I think I even called her a Karen, and the crowd, you know, bursted into laughter. Now, what's your, what's your name, ma'am? Tracy. Was either Tracy or Karen? One of those. Yeah. I think in Salt Lake City, I found the person who was behind the name Tumua on Instagram. So if you follow me on Instagram, my name is Tumua underscore, and I chose that name because T-U-M-U-A, Tumua, it was taken already. So I had to throw in the underscore. She came to the Salt Lake City show. My name's Tumua, and everyone on Instagram always sends me. Oh, what is your, um, it's Tumua. Oh, that's the one that I was trying to get, this Instagram. And I think her boyfriend, you know, joked around. He goes, well, you let me know when you want to buy it. Okay. That's good. <laughs> In Guam, there was this guy on the telephone, and he was in the front row, and I, I noticed that as well. So I said, oh, give me that. Brought the phone up on stage, and we had a little fun. I think that same exact show, the lights went out as well. Can we translate it from that? <laughs> yeah, it was a life-changing experience going to Guam because um, I think we went there right after the typhoon, and they got hit pretty hard. So it was sad seeing all the damages that the typhoon caused. And I believe I was the first event back after the typhoon. So it was awesome that I got to go there and just give them some laughter. A little after we came back from Guam, um, another devastating news happened. We got hit with the, the fires in Maui. Um, in Lahaina. Literally, the whole Lahaina is, is, is gone. But it got me thinking, you know, why can't we do something directly to the people in Maui, to the people that are affected or has been affected by those fires, the victims of the fires. So I wanted to do a, a free show directly to them and the kids there, the families, and just to give them an escape, you know, just, just, just a one hour escape. I was very happy that we got to do that. So thank you for Hyatt for giving us that opportunity. Definitely this is the most I've ever traveled, 21 cities. I would say the most thing I enjoyed was seeing the new places, different people, the different foods you get to eat. And um, every time we travel to a new city, we like to do some activities as well. We went to the Dallas Cowboys Stadium. In Kauai, we went on this, I think it was called Ocean Blue ride. That was breathtaking. The Nike store in Oregon, the UH game in Las Vegas in the Raiders Stadium, Alcatraz in San Francisco. We visited the last working Kmart in the world in Guam. And then of course, every time we were in Cali or near Orange County, we have to stop at Disneyland. There were some times where um, I will be on the road for a long period of time and I would even have to stop and, and get a haircut. So it was always fun finding a barber up there. And if I couldn't find a barber, I would always rely on DJ Ryan because he also does a little bit of barbering as well. In 2023, we got to film my very first comedy special. We filmed it at the Hawaii Theater. That was a fun experience. Be on the lookout for that because that is coming out very soon. And I have a lot of thank yous and mahalos to give out. My sponsors, Alaska Airlines, YKL Water. Thank you guys for being with me. To my videographer, Yoda. None of this would have been possible to capturing all these moments. It was all thanks to him. And he jumped on board with me from the arena as well. So he kind of worked backwards with me as well too, doing a big arena. And now he's doing the smaller clubs on the mainland. And I'm very thankful to have him. Also, shout out to my fans. My fans that been with me from day one. I still remember the first time I post my very first comedy video, and it's amazing to see the process from smaller rooms in Hawaii, like Anna O'Brien's, Hawaiian Brian's, and then Blazel Concert Hall, and then the arena. 
and touring all across the, the nation. Uh, couldn't have been done without you guys, all my fans. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you for buying tickets. Thank you for coming to my shows. And I can't wait to see what 2024 has in store for us all. And it's gonna be amazing. Aloha.